Why you do that, George Bush? <laughs> What'd you say, Afghanistan and Pakistan, something or other? Why didn't he use this 35 minutes to partially rescue the U.S. and send F-16s to shoot down the hijacked plane? And maybe only 300 lives, not nearly 3,000, would have been lost. You ever watch that film where they're sitting there with little kids? About what? They made the kids, like, they made the kids yell out weird keywords like plane and tower and, really? and words like that. And, and and it was weird. And then he read that book, uh, My Pet Goat. And, uh, wow. Uh, it was weird. He was in the middle of a, of a elementary school classroom when it happened. Yeah, he was reading a book to him called My Pet Goat. And yeah, that, I never knew, knew what he was. <laughs> so the book had well, some reference to what was going to happen. Like, I, I, I posted the, pic, the, the video of it. It was pretty weird. <laughs> oh, I studied it, was, it all right. Obviously, obviously a satanic ritual that he was doing before the things. Satanic rituals. There was a really weird George one. George was his father, as was his father, are members of a deeply submerged secret society. Did you see the scribes and the scribes and the Pharisees came out of uh, Babylonian captivity? Track Association? One of the RTA's operating festivals is the use of his Hegelian creation of conflict to make progress yeah. or advance history and is typical of two other omnipotent philosophers. Did you say that about aliens? Hegelian roots, Nazism and Marx, Marx, Marxism. Look at that scary stuff. Three members of the Bush family, Grandfather Prescott, Father George, and George Jr., oh, are oh, members of RTA. We are interested in what this trio has okay, done for their history using the alien mythology. Well, Grandpa Bush was right there with Prescott and George Jr. Yeah, he was right there with Hitler. I don't know, I have to read about the Jews. I don't know if Hitler is such a bad guy. The Bush family approached... Oh, sorry, beg your pardon? Well, you got a cool picture of, like, Bush's face as a skull and bones skull. That's kind of cool. Skull and crossbones society, is, it, is that real now? Is it real? Skull and bone. They got that, they're, they're, yeah. they're, they still got that, that's real? Yeah, that's a, that's a club in Yale. And Harvard, I, I think. I thought it was Yale and Harvard. That major, like, politicians went... Are, At first I thought it was only Yale, but I think it's Yale and Harvard. It's, it's like, it's both of like them. It's like an initiation for, like, college students for the Illuminati or for higher ranks of Freemasons. Yale, Harvard, and Columbia. But it's just kind of an initiation for, like, further <laughs> development of oh, politics. It's, it's I like
like that I movie, like, uh, The Good Shepherd. Oh, I read the book about it. You ever see that movie, The Good Shepherd, with Matt Damon when he's in the Skull and Crossbones, and then they start the CIA, and that's the movie? Oh, Doug, go again. There's a huge book. It's like 600 pages. 260, what? How many pages? 666. Um, yeah. Matt, da- Matt Damon's Mary D'Angelina Jolie in, in that movie, and, and she's like the wife of the, C- of the founder of the CIA. You ever see that? And he, he's like going to Yale and he's in the skull and crossbones. Who? What? Where? It's called The Good what? Shepherd. It's with Angelina Jolie and uh, Matt Damon. And he he plays a skull and crossbones member and then they found the CIA. And... Uh-huh. Oh, that's a pretty good movie. I don't see that. The Good Shepherd. My favorite part's when Matt Damon singing Sweet Little Buttercup at Yale. He's like, or no, yeah, they're at Yale. He's like, Sweet Little Buttercup. Because they're like cross-dressing. Well, they're like skull and crossbones. There's one part where he just gets disturbed because he's walking down the hallway and all the all the fraternity guys are peeing on him from the balcony. And he just gets pissed off because he's like covered in urine. And, he, and then some brother, his frat brother, said something about, I don't know, then the CIA gets going, and, <laughs> it's a good movie, huh. it's a, I think it's a long movie, isn't it, you could watch it, you got, you got your Netflix, why, why go watch The Good Shepherd, there you go, it's probably too mainstream for Netflix, most of my remote isn't working, so I can't change the, the, the TV function to even get to Netflix, it kind of sucks. I th- I, you know what? I think I told you enough of the plot synopsis that you don't even have to watch the movie now. You pre- you pretty much already saw the movie. You you heard Matt Damon sing "Sweet Little Buttercup" and. I hate these new fucking TVs though, where you can't do shit with them without the remote. So, but all you need to do is change the, you know, the I know. TV one, the, the trials that a that a couch vegetable goes through. I I I. Couldn't relate to it. <laughs> the, the first world problems that a couch potato goes through, it it, it must be hard for you. Oh man, I got a million movies to watch, but I can't click it over to Netflix because remote ain't working. I gotta buy a new, new <coughs> remote. But a TV, well, this at is least a you're TV utilizing your life on Earth with a lot of consideration for your pre- every precious moment. It's an old TV. Brian gave it to me. Oh, well, yeah. I guess if Brian gave it to you, it's probably got a lot of value to stare at longer. Yeah. Well, he got rid of it because it was outdated after four years. But He, 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 needed, a, he needed a screen with more status it's symbol. First, it's one of the first HD TVs. Like a it, it, you know, it, it's an HDTV. It doesn't have quite have the status symbol that, that Brian's new TV might have, but I, this, this TV is pretty good too. Well, Brian's got like one of those flat TVs now that are just like really thin. Oh yeah, you can like tape them to your oh, wall with sure. with masking tape. What? Oh yeah, you can like tape them to your wall with masking tape. Yeah, you can tape them to your wall with masking tape. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Anyway, well, we got about... Oh, we got about two minutes left, man. Let's just cut her off here. Timmy just doesn't have very good luck. Timmy just doesn't understand me. So now she's, she got her car stolen, so now she doesn't have a job or a house or a car. Well, while you were jabbering, Star just did another work of art, so I guess that kind of shows that you're not really being that productive right now. And I made a YouTube video. Star made an art project, I made a YouTube video. I guess, you know what, you are productive because you're part of the YouTube video. 
So, yay. Let's give Todd a hand. He did something. <laughs> At least I'm nice. I keep, I keep, I, I, it's hard, I keep hurting Todd. Star, I hurt Todd again. You better get back to your healing from the last time I hurt you. I'm gonna get back to this book. I'll give you a full report in the morning. Star wants to know why you hung up last time. Huh? Star wants to know why you hung up last time. I think. I think your phone malfunctioned or something. I think my, my phone was when my phone battery died. I had to go purchase. Yeah. Completely dead. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what do I say? Assalamu alaikum while around to what he would buy a cot to? I don't know where I put my no, formal gesture in this movie. No, either. I don't know where I put my Tell me like more around the two of them. I I can't even. I need to be around people that can pronounce words better in Arabic. I'm 